opportunity for those people. And I have to give the DCTEU a great credit. They come forward with the proposal, but to build housing in Burnaby that will have 50% of those units at affordable rates. That's here for DCTEU. And I do want to challenge uh, the rest of labor. We are open for business in Burnaby. We want to develop partnerships that will build real affordable housing for working people so that we can keep our young people in our city, keep our families together in our city, and keep our seniors being able to see their families. So I'm challenging you all out there now. Let's work together to really lift people up and try to build some housing. So uh, let's work in that. Thank you. You know, we just heard about how the, let's call it the other side, try to divide us. And so that, so that we don't get affordability for working people. We don't get good wages for working people. And I'm not going to mention a name, but there's someone running for politics in the federal level right now. Who, uh, they are putting plaid shirts on. They're having to walk around with young families trying to soften the image. Let's just say, you cannot soften the image of this person. It just cannot be, and I'm seeing too much of labor. I'm going to finish up by thanking uh, uh, the, uh, the, labor, the labor district from the New West and Vancouver for inviting me here to speak. All of you very honored to speak uh, in front of working class people, because that's who I'm here to represent. And I'll never forget that. So have a wonderful day here at, in Burnaby. And on behalf of Burnaby City Council, we'll all stand with you as long as we're together with this council. Thank you very much. Civil Liberties Association and the HIV AIDS Legal Network. First elected to the legislature in 2013, he became Attorney General in 2017, where among many other achievements, uh, he, was he reached a first of its kind settlement to hold opioid manufacturers accountable for the overdose crisis that has affected so many working people. And as housing minister, he challenged local governments to remove roadblocks to affordable housing. David Eby became DC's 37th Premier last November 18th, taking on priorities like affordability, clean energy, ensuring more doctors and nurses, building more homes throughout DC. And for the kind welcome to the territory, the territory of the people, and uh, really appreciate the opportunity to gather here together today. Labor Day for me is, um, it's a lot like Mother's Day, you know? It's one of those days when we recognize people that we know in our hearts we should do a better job of recognizing year-round, right? And when you think about it, Mother's Day wouldn't be possible without labor either. Yeah, that's true. It's all down from here, guys. It's not getting better. Let me, um, let me uh, say a, a couple of things. First of all, you know, Mayor Hurley, thank you for your work recognizing those firefighters on the front line across the province. Climate change is having a devastating effect on British Columbia. Bruna, I'm Ned. 
Thank you. Thank you. 
We have so much to celebrate. More and more working people are joining together and they're discovering the strength and the solidarity of coming together in collective ways and becoming part of a union and that is huge. We have so many victories that we've won together. We've won them at the bargaining table. We represent the workers who brought us through the worst of the pandemic. The workers who are still fighting wildfires and floods and have helped keep families and communities safe in the face of disaster and led the rebuilding in the aftermath and will continue to build the rebuilding in much of the aftermath and in communities uh, in my home away from home of Scotch Creek uh, where we're still evacuated out of. And you know, it's the workers that make us strong and it's the workers that make this province prosperous. And there's a saying that we have in the labor movement, and it's our motto at the BC Federation of Labor. It is what we desire for ourselves, we wish for all. But I will say, we have more work to do. The work never ends, honestly. We want to continue to build a province here in British Columbia that we know the province can be. We want that province to be one that is full of hope and optimism, not one that is full of hate and angst. And so we're gonna keep fighting against those things every single day to make sure that workers are at the front and center of everything that happens in this province. We know this because we know that when we come together, when we speak with one united voice, there is nothing that working people
there as well. This is the close of the formal program, so uh, I do want to invite all of the speakers that we have today, members of the executive boards and labor councils, presidents of unions, and labor endorsed uh, elected officials to all meet, please, by the uh, steps right there behind the hot dogs uh, for a group photo. And that concludes our program. Thank you so much, everyone, and happy Labor Day.